Hello and welcome to News Click. Uh, very recently, the government of India has permitted the postgraduate Ayurveda doctors to perform a set of surgeries, which has received widespread opposition from the Indian Medical Association. To talk more about this, we have with us the president elect of the Indian Medical Association, Dr. Jailal. Welcome, sir. Thank you. To begin with, uh, why is the Indian Medical Association opposing the government's move of permitting? the Ayurveda doctors to perform a surgery. Surgery is a one form of treatment. It is something playing between life and death. When doing a surgery, patient has to be undergo anesthesia. His heart and his lung function is under the hands of the team of doctors who are doing. So it is a highly specialized and highly skilled procedure where you need to have anesthesia, antibiotic, appropriate instruments and the proper milieu. As per the today available system, Ayurveda do not have any anesthesia medicine. Ayurveda do not have any antibiotics to treat the infection. Ayurveda as such do not have any sophisticated equipments or instruments on their system to do that. They have to only adopt with from the modern medicine system. A doctor who is not trained in undergraduate in surgery, who is not going adequate training and skill under the proctorship of someone else, and allowing him to operate on another person's body, it is uh, catastrophic to the humanity. And Indian Medical Association is opposing it only on the perspective of the, the public, the humanity, which is going to be operated and improperly trained or improperly, adequately equipped people when they are operating. There's a lot of complication of going to come. So such a system of uh, double standard, a high, highly specialized surgeon for a uh, Okay, highly you know, city and for the rural population can be operated by someone with an uh, inadequate knowledge cannot be accepted and it is against our constitution. That is the reason why Indian Medical Association is opposing it uh, to the name. I am a statement has said that uh, India is one of the countries which remains in the front frontier of uh, modern medicine in both evidence-based and clinical streams. So if the Ayurveda doctors are uh, uh, given permission to perform surgeries, what will happen to this particular uh, improvements we have done over the past several years? You have rightly asked, but India is the one country today even where various, even uh, Western countries, the people are coming in for uh, medical treatment called as a medical tourism. A lot of sophisticated surgery like uh, uh, cardiac surgeries and uh, transplantation procedures are done much uh, cheaper and affordable and accessible way in India. That is why. And also, if you see any uh, uh, foreign country, even if it is USA or UK, 30% of the medical fraternity is Indian trained uh, doctors. Because today in across the globe, Indian trained doctors are well respected because they know the system of education which we are undergoing is proper, meticulous and adequately trained. When you are bringing out a system where anyone can have the degree without having a proper training and the training part is inadequacy, there is uh, the entry into the system is also inadequate. Definitely, it will make a question mark into the mind of the people in the global standard and the people coming to India for treatment is will be definitely it will have a medical tourism will be affected. So always when, a, when an Indian graduate coming from a, a degree from a Madras Medical College or Madras a Christian Medical College, if he is going out and with that degree, he has a lot of respect when they know that it is not that they have a proper uh, training. See something like that. When you have an undergraduate, you are not studying surgery. Suddenly in the postgraduate only you are going to study a modern medicine and it is not going to be an appropriate. It will definitely impair the, uh, the image of Indian doctors in the foreign countries. And it also impair the economy of India by reducing the uh, foreign people coming to India for medical treatment. You have also said that uh, the Indian Medical Association I mean, has also said that uh, the uh, Central Council has going on in uncivil ways. So what do you imply by calling it as uncivil? This is natural. You know, every one of us has a house and we have a, a boundary. We have a compound wall. When you are poking or encroaching into the other's compound, it is always an uncivilized one. Nobody will enter into the another person's house and uh, get the, the things from there and take it that and process that it is a common thing uh, that everyone can use. That is not the possibility in a civilized way. See, Ayurveda system is based on yep, certain principles of Vada, Pitta, Kaba, all that. That's the internal milieu, internal milieu and external milieu. And uh, modern medicine is a system where we are trying to talk about the uh, 
organisms and lifestyle and many other factors which is playing for part of the disease so uh, we are talking about antibiotics they do not accept antibiotics we are talking about immunization they do not accept immunization we are having anesthesia they do not accept anesthesia they may use uh, no drugs for them in anesthesia now they say no whatever it is but we will do surgery but we will adopt everything from what you have and we can also you said that is uh, uh, i think it is a uh, very very uh, 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 Better word is uh, uncivilized. That I, I, the appropriate word for this is much, much worse than that. Sir, another important aspect here is the uh, medical legal issues involved uh, in these guidelines which are uh, brought forth. So, can you please elaborate on it? What are the actual issues, the uh, yes, legal sir, issues pertaining? We, in our country, we lot of consumer protection cases are there. Uh, there are different sectors of the uh, specialization in modern medicine. just because i have passed ms general surgery i cannot do all the surgeries i cannot do a cesarean I mean so i need to go md og degree i cannot do a surgery on the eye if you do a eye there is another three year course is uh, ms ophthalmology has to be done and if i have to do a surgery on on a, a certain things and we need to further specialization so even a lot of court cases has come when uh, uh, ms general surgeon operating on a cesarean section they say you are trained in general surgery you are not extra specialized in cesarean so you it is not right for you to do the surgery so that is a one aspect of the medical legal which is persisting now what has happened the ccim has come there are 58 surgeries they say with the two years of training ayurveda will do that is starting from eye surgery so another starting from the abdominal surgery is the most difficult uh, gallbladder surgery and there is uh, some surgeries with involving the bone this is a three different specialty people after 3 years of specialization in each we are doing that now you are saying you are a master of all trade and you do not have an undergraduate basis and you just had a 2 year stint and that too you do not have a proper uh, system in your uh, system but you are adopting them then if you are going and operating that and who is going to take uh, care who is going to be the the, the medical legal how much more case, more uh, complications it will come and how the court is going to interpret on that so when the ccm is giving that it is not only the right there must be some duties and responsibility should be also proclaimed now our council of uh, medical council of india says and if you are not doing this and there is some uh, complications you are bound to punish but now the, it it is a open license they are giving you can do a surgery and suppose a person is coming to uh, with the abdominal problem and uh, you are you are permitted to do appendicectomy but on opening the abdomen i find some other disease is there and what should i do there is no guidance so should i close the abdomen and send the another surgeon so all this will be raised to medical level another important issue will be the degree which is going to be given the ms so ms general surgery for modern medicine there is a well known degree now another ms degree is coming now how the people are going to identify that if a person is going to sue that i couldn't identify that this person is a modern medicine person or ayurveda person so that is also going to be upheld by the court so we cannot cheat the public we cannot uh, uh, give a wrong impression to the public so if at all they want to do trained in the surgery let them get trained adequately 3 years and let them call their degree in their ayurvedic term their shailya and shailya tantra are the languages they use in ayurveda let them put that like that and ms when they put as a he is a general surgeon so that is going to make a wrong image in the society that will result in lot of medical legal uh, cases and responsibilities in, in the days to come Uh, sir another important uh, uh, terminology which you have used in the ima statement is the imposing of mixopathy and uh, you have called for public demonstrations against uh, this particular mixopathy and uh, uh, you have called for the withdrawal of uh, non essential services including the non covid uh, non covid services also so you are, if you are confident about your own service why do you want to abstain from the service and voicing against the guidelines of uh, the orders Yeah, this which we all should understand that is why we are opposing mixopathy what is mixopathy so i am practicing modern medicine it has a certain principles ayurveda has certain principles yunani has a certain principles and homeopathy has a certain principles and when each system has to grow because each system has contributed great to the country development so we are respecting each system each system has to grow individually means as they have to get trained within that they have to specialize in that this human body is so much a complicated one we need to get specialized in that just in the sake of naming that we want everyone to become a doctor so we mix everything and make one system you cannot make see, see so just small example of a driver 
the stem where driver is cannot be a uh, common you cannot make a drive a person who drive auto to drive a flight a, a pilot has to train in a different way a auto driver has to be trained in a different way the bus driver has to be trained just because i have known how to drive an auto i cannot go and drive the flight so equally if you know allopathy you practice modern medicine then then that is going to make thing you think of a mixing if you want a water you mix with an uh, milk you add milk i uh, mean water to the milk the milk the quality of the milk will come down the uh, virulence the the effectiveness will be coming down when you are mixing with something which is unequal if you are mixing equal things it is fine when you are mixing an unequal things and different concept different things and you cannot do that and similarly the government is saying that this we are doing with a uh, one system and uh, one nation and one system how is it possible in our country our country is a multilingualistic language can you make one one nation one language our country is having male and female can you say there is there cannot be male and female there can be only one system and uh, when, when when this kind of things is not possible see the isolated growth of each system is going to be the necessary for our uh, individual and tomorrow if i train i, I why we even in your uh, post in arts colleges you have a professor of history you have a professor of maths you have a professor of uh, science we say that no all professors are same all language you study all subject you study then come and teach it is not possible similarly uh, ayurveda modern medicine has voluminous of subjects and ayurveda has rig vedur veda they all have a large vedic literature so individually they have to study one person going to study everything and come a master of trade for all is not going to be a practical it is only going to hamper the growth of individual system that is why we are particular we are not against ayurveda system we are not against sita system let it grow individually let it grow uniquely and everyone can complement it to each other in the treatment modality when the and the right of the individual in the public health is a right of individual and individual has to uh, choose i need a modern medicine or i need ayurveda medicine and he must have the opportunity to treat and you must have a specialized doctors in that not a, a, a mixing it is going to the hamper the growth and it is, as i said earlier it is going to hamper and impair the name of modern medicine in across the globe with all these issues are staying behind why the ayush ministry is pushing behind such kind of guidelines do you find any political rational behind uh, these moves yes i have as i have said earlier this is the policy which they have they always try to say that's a one system and if you see the national education policy which has been proposed or the nidhi ayog which has proposed the four committees and their vision and their policy is integration and uh, desacralize the uh, uh, modern medicine so they they say even their uh, philosophy says that modern medicine tends the chemical materials to be used so we do not want to have a modern medicine we are going back to the ayurveda that is well and good so when you say that it is a traditional medicine so we want to follow certain other traditions of india should be also not forgotten in the olden days we never had a supreme court or the high court you had only katta panchayat so when you have a legal system you can go back to the traditional katta panchayat when you want to say the whether there is a storm or the rain is going to come we used to see only the panjangam or the old uh, old traditional books and we never used the meteorological methods to say that so let us forget about that and they can uh, take the old system of that and people always walk across the country to uh, to go from one area to other area the modern medi- modern science only brought in uh, aeroplane and flight and uh, other things and uh, yes we will go back to the traditional system so that is a misconcept on which this policies have been formulated the misconcept are there to stimulate uh, certain uh, open policy and i must go and uh, as an uh, other i mean uh, other race person of indian medical association i must also go there are equally we have in india 480 modern medicine colleges equally there are more ayurveda colleges these ayurveda colleges the tech of the individuals are very less the the public do understand and they do not there is no competition if you see for a the neat exam and many people in the they couldn't score neat or not able to enter into the modern medicine system what they now feel even if you fail in neat no problem you come through the ayurveda through the back door entry you can enter into the medical profession modern medicine profession as a lateral entry that is what the modern medical education policy is been put that is only to uh, 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 appease the certain people appease or the benefit certain people this policy is been taken so we we are not against the ccm decision this is only a tip of the iceberg 
our indian medical association is totally against this policy of one system one nation in our country in uh, in medical education they can use that for various other purpose if they want but it is not possible to use in a medical education so we want and we are we have appealed we have given adequate in mean, uh, materials to the government to study government has assured us that they will uh, reconsider the policy but i am not sure then how it is going to come but indian indian medical association determined to fight till we get a positive result talking about the unscientific measures in the past 5 to 6 years uh, after uh, the present uh, government which came into power we have you know seen lot of uh, recommendations by even by the union ministers on the use of cow dung cow urine and other kind of uh, materials for uh, you know curing diseases do you think that uh, there is a total uh, collapse in the system or a total problem with the approach of the present now it, it is uh, i mean uh, well planned well determined steps to take india back to the stone age and when you are going to talk about that uh, cow dung or whatever it is we are not uh, saying no or we are not uh, we are yeah, against it everything in this world can be accepted when well, even it is an evidence based you do appropriate research you do appropriate study on that and prove to the scientific world and it is effective and everyone is going to accept that just because it is said in the vedic literature or just because it is said 1000 years ago that cannot be become a truth in this country and this era because today is a world where it is based on a evidence based medicine so i uh, mean by repeatedly talking like this oh uh, it is going to only damage the reputation of our country i i, I must even confront the ayurvedic uh, ayush minister uh, honorable health uh, minister of ayush when he had a corona he he had a treatment with the modern medicine he had uh, there are many many top people in the uh, the government today when they had a problem when they had a medical issues they always get uh, modern medicine treatment and only to only to appease their uh, public or the population or the vote bank and they used to say that we are talking about tradition we are talking about a traditional system and we we welcome that you talk about that but you do some some exclusive research on that by mixing it with the modern medicine you are in fact you are killing the ayurveda also you are uh, degrading ayurveda also anyone who has what he had as a possession as a, a great thing an important thing he will never try to grab it from others when the moment the ayurveda says that we need the uh, the anesthesia and other drugs other system other equipments from modern medicine that means uh, they do not have that in their system then why should we they have a college for that let all the colleges be converted into a modern medicine college and all the doctors be converted into a modern medicine doctors then it will become easier and another another thing they say that we are promoting ayurveda because there is no uh, doctor in this country that is also a, a, a false a myth with all myth they are also saying every year in india 90000 medical students are coming out passing in mbbs and india do not have that much of need of doctors today especially in south india there are few states in north india there is shortage of doctors it is not that number of doctors are not there it is the failure of the governance they are not ready to appoint the doctors they are not ready to give infrastructure for the doctors in the schools that is the reason why there is apparently there is some shortage of the doctors in the certain north state but take any south india any maharashtra there is not not even single psc in our state is without a doctor so that much uh, again that false propaganda they are using that there is no uh, doctor so they we are producing ayurveda and that is also going to be we have given, given all the statistical evidence we have also said from indian medical association if the government is willing please give us a list what are the areas you are not having doctors we have 4 lakhs doctors as a mumbai in our association we can supply any number of doctors to any part of the country so there is no response from the government so it is not that lack of doctors it is only the lack of governance or lack of the mindset which is the result the apparent the the, uh, the fallacy which has been created that the doctors are not in the rural areas thank you sir for joining us thank you thank you Thank you.